and gentlemen welcome back to my channel as astrology today i am making this video about jupiter and saturn conjunction which i have already made this is not about the conjunction this is actually about the jupiter and saturn going retrograde in the sign of capricorn I am making this separate video on uh, Jupiter and Saturn retrogression because firstly I want you guys to be clear about what does retrogression means because we don't have much of the predictions given in the textbooks about retrogression. Retrogression involves heavy karma with them. So the question comes that what is retrogression? According to the dictionary, retrograde means making a situation worse or returning to how something was in the, in the past. And in the case of planets, retrogression means when a planet is, a planet usually moves forward, in a forward direction, right? Retrograde means when a planet stops at a certain point and reverses its path, reverses its orbit and starts moving backward. This we call retrogression in astrology. So let me take a practical example. Suppose this is the sun. Okay. And planets revolve in this direction around the sun. Right. So what happens is when Saturn stops and starts revolving in the anti-clock direction that is known as retrograde. Not even, not just Saturn, any planet, any planet can go retrograde except Moon, Sun of course, and Rahu and Ketu because Rahu and Ketu already moves, um, you know, they are already retrograde and they already move backwards. So in this scenario, the planet starts moving backwards means it starts reflecting towards what has happened in the past so all the qualities related to that certain planet and the zodiac sign in which it is retrograding becomes reverse now if you guys are already aware of how vedic astrology works you might have a question that why would why is this a particular retrograde very special like every year saturn goes retrograde jupiter rose goes retrograde other planets also goes go retrograde in a year then why it is unusual and important now the answer to this question is that this is a very unusual time because saturn and uh, Jupiter are conjunct together and they are going retrograde together in the sign of Capricorn. Apart from this, not only Jupiter and Saturn, but two more planets are going retrograde within a month. So this retrogression is going to be very intense and it will give drastic results on an individual level and especially on the mundane level. Because all the planets that are retrograding represent something or the other which is very important on the economy level. So let's start with what is Saturn and Jupiter retrogression and how it is going to affect on a basic level. Saturn is going retrograde for 142 days from May 11th, 2020 to 29th of September 2020 at 7 degrees Capricorn in the nakshatra of Uttara Ashada. Whereas Jupiter is going retrograde for 122 days um, on 14th of May to 13th of September 2020. Saturn in Capricorn usually means performing your karma, duties and actions in a confined way in a uh, you know boundary in a way in which boundaries are set up because Capricorn is the sign of boundaries you have certain because whenever see 
originally 10th house is the sign of Capricorn and Saturn represents the 10th house as well. So originally when you are in a society, you have to abide by certain rules. You cannot just do whatever you feel like, right? You are under some restrictions, you are under some boundaries. So that is what Saturn in Capricorn means. So when this planet goes retrograde, what happens is the qualities of Saturn in Capricorn gets reversed. You are not... So now when it is retrograde, you are hardly bothered about all the duties, all the work you are bound to do. So whenever a planet goes retrograde, it activates the nakshatra it is transiting in and the nakshatra directly opposite to it. So the nakshatras that are going to be intensified and be activated are the nakshatra of Uttarashada in Capricorn where Jupiter and Saturn are going to transit. The opposite nakshatra which is the nakshatra of Pushya and Punarvasu which are in the sign of Cancer and Gemini respectively. First we need to understand what is Saturn and what is the sign of Capricorn. See Saturn is a planet of duty, commitment, taking actions, restrictions. Saturn depicts the quality of serving other people. Saturn is Saturn also is referred to as our servants. That is why Saturn is a planet which is known to serve people. Saturn in the sign of Capricorn is all about work, representing yourself in the society, performing your karmas, your duties and making regarding the house where this transit is going to take place. So you will be least bothered during this time about performing some new karmas. Rather, you will be looking back towards what you have done in the past, what karmas you have performed in the past, what decisions you have taken in the past. So this time is all about looking back in your past and correcting, reanalyzing, rethinking, reassessing about the situations and decisions which are made in past and making suppose you have taken some decision because of your restrictive mind or your restrictive set of beliefs now is the time to go back and correct those decisions and let go of all the resentments that that decision has brought to you on the mundane level this retrogression is not going to be very good because retrograde Saturn creates protests because see as I told earlier that Saturn is abiding by the rules going by the rules following the rules working in a confined space by you know by abiding by the law working like that but when Saturn goes retrograde it no longer serves the rules it is no longer afraid of the rules so at this point people can create protests people can uh, go against the rules which are set by the country and especially for India since uh, Saturn is transiting the ninth house and uh, it is not going very it is not giving very good score in the sign of capricorn in ninth house there can be you know drastic and dramatic results maybe people are not willing to accept the rules the economy will go down the economy of india will suffer there will be hunger issues there will be lack there will be scarcity of food Further, Saturn is a slow-moving planet. So now this quality of Saturn will also be reversed. Either your actions will be blocked, will be questionable, or they will just do much better for you and just things will happen quickly for you. This all depends upon the Ashtakvarga score that Saturn is giving to the sign of Capricorn 
in your particular horoscope so i wasn't liking my hairstyle previously and i think this looks good anyways now let's talk about jupiter retrograde now what is jupiter jupiter is optimism hope hopefulness jupiter is what we believe in jupiter is our guru the one who guides us the people who we consider as our gurus for this retrogression jupiter jupiter is going ati vakri ati vakri is known when a planet retrogrades and travels from one zodiac sign to another whereas saturn it will stay in the sign of capricorn it will travel from 7 degrees capricorn to 1 degree capricorn and then it will start moving ahead towards the further degree right but for the case of jupiter jupiter will start retrograding from capricorn and then it will go back to the sign of sagittarius which is its own sign now difference between the sign of sagittarius and the sign of capricorn is that the sign of sagittarius is the root of the belief sign of sagittarius is where you acquire the higher knowledge where you research and acquire the higher knowledge and capricorn is where you implement those knowledge and take actions towards it sagittarius is a sign about making all the strategies whereas capricorn is the sign about implementing those strategies so what good is going to happen is that since all of this retrogression will happen people will look back look back towards what what karma they have performed what they have done earlier what thinking they were having earlier then they will retrospect it they will reanal analyze it and recheck it then they will form their opinions and my dog is barking again and i am back so another thing what which jupiter retrograde will do is that when jupiter goes retrograde a person is very confused about what they believe in there can be negative advices or unnecessary advices which will not be will, which will not prove to be good or in your favor so do look after that another thing jupiter retrograde does is that jupiter going retrograde makes you question about everything question about why you believe in things why you did what so that is why when jupiter and saturn will go retrograde people will think about their past the actions they have done in their past and why they have done that why they have made such decisions decisions regarding their finances decisions regarding your career decisions regarding your breakups decision regarding your marriage or something anything it can be according to the placement in uh, placement of capricorn in your horoscope since jupiter is transiting two zodiac signs jupiter retrograde in capricorn can make a person very fatalistic about their beliefs people who are not so intelligent can you know can uh, think that they are of supreme knowledge they have they know everything they know how to deal with things and they will believe that nothing is above them so this is the negativity of jupiter being debilitated in the sign of capricorn and going retrograde so what happens is the sign of capricorn confines and sets a boundary around jupiter jupiter who is the guru the guru never wants to be confined the jupiter the guru wants to provide everything every knowledge every single knowledge to uh, its disciples 
Jupiter does not wants to restrict itself. That's why Jupiter does not feel comfortable in the sign of Capricorn. So this is the thing that when Jupiter will be in the sign of Capricorn, people will be very fatalistic regarding their approach. They might believe in things which are not for real. And when Jupiter will go into the sign of Sagittarius, then they will retrospect and think about the things which are actually possible. But still, no major decision should be taken when the planets are retrograde. Because what happens is when the planets are retrograde, they are going back. They, they are going back to go forward after that, right? So when they will go forward, then is the situation when you'll get clarity of everything. So it is highly, highly, highly advisable that do not go for either new relationships, do not go for uh, new opportunities of business or investments or anything. Apart from it, the two major planets going retrograde also have heavy effects on number one politics since Uttara Shada Nakshatra is involved number two the real estate or properties since Punarvasu Nakshatra is involved number three economy since this retrograde is happening in the ninth house of India and number four the beliefs of people people will will go back and retrospect what they believed earlier what they what decisions they made earlier everything will transform this time is about retrospection reanalysis and reforming relationships career almost every area of life hence your whole life people's routine will be changed everything will be changed this is a time of major transformation since two major planets conjunct together and going retrograde is a very big deal trust me it's a big deal and lastly there can be a lot of reconciliations in the marriages if you uh, if anybody is divorced or something and in terms of relationships relationships can be anyone romantic relationships relationships with your father if you are not on talking terms with your father mother or your friends or anything there is going to be reconciliations because Ju because of jupiter and saturn going retrograde and further because of venus also going retrograde for which i'll make a separate video apart from the two signs i mentioned earlier which will be affected the most Capricorn and the sign of Cancer and Gemini the Punarvasu part of Gemini also apart from this the sign of Pisces will also be affected a lot because see Saturn's placement does not uh, you know give that major effects as much as its third aspect does that's why Saturn's third aspect will be on the sign of Pisces. That's why this placement is also very important. So guys, this was my analysis on Jupiter and Saturn retrogression. I'll make another video where I'll mention how this will affect different zodiac signs according to your ascendant and moon sign. So yes, stay tuned for another video. If you would like to have your personal readings from me, you can follow this link below and under reading section, you can book a reading for yourself. And till then, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share my video. And yeah, see you later.